good morning and welcome to the official spring cleaning vlog. It is still Sunday, but my last vlog was too long. So I went ahead and finished it and I'm going ahead and starting the new one now. So um, I guess I'm busier than I realized because I keep thinking I don't really have that much to vlog. And then all of a sudden the vlog is already 30 plus minutes long. And so I don't know, but this week is spring cleaning week and I'm starting outdoors today. I'm gonna get as much done as possible. I did learn that Lowe's is closed today. It is Easter Sunday, but you know, I celebrated Easter with my family yesterday. So today I just have free, at least until I have to pick up Logan this afternoon from his dad, um, which is why we had Easter yesterday because I knew this afternoon I had to leave. So I wouldn't have really had time to do it all today. Um, <clears throat> but I'm gonna start with pressure washing my mower and it needs a new blade put on it before I can use it. So I can't mow today, even though my yard desperately needs it. And I don't have quite the right tools to get the blade off. So when Logan gets home, I'm gonna have him take care of getting the blade off for me, but I am going to Menards. They don't open until nine today since it's a holiday, but I'm gonna go, I'm gonna get my blade. I've gotta get uh, pre-emergent for my lawn to keep the crabgrass from sprouting this year. Um, I need to get some mulch. There's just all kinds of stuff I need to pick up. So I'm gonna run and do that after I get done pressure washing the mower. And so once Logan helps me with the blade, I'll be good to start mowing the yard. So I've got that. And then Lowe's unfortunately is closed today. So I can't get the soil. And um, I was gonna get another one of those um, like little sprinkler system, the soaker hose system that I got there before. I'm gonna get another one of those, but I can't pick it up today, unfortunately. So I won't be able to get that done. Um, so I am a little bit limited as to what I can do in the yard today, unfortunately, but I figure if I can get the mower cleaned and as close to ready to be used as possible and start mulching my front yard because it's looking pretty rough, like a lot of the mulch washed away, blew away, and probably blew away more than anything because when I have to clean up in the fall from all of the leaf trash, um, a lot of leaves gather in that and I have to blow it out and then mulch goes with it. So I guess just it is what it is. But so now I've got to buy probably at least 30 bags of mulch just to do the front and I can't fit it all in my car in one trip. So I'm going to have to get what I can today and uh, go back for more as needed, I guess. Um, Logan's truck is here, but he has his keys and he gets precious about other people driving his truck anyway. So um, I'm kind of on my own today. But anyway, I'm going to quit jacking my jaws because I don't want to turn this into a 30 minute vlog before I'm even started good. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on cleaning this mower up.
sadly, our dogwood tree is beginning to die. Oh, this spot every year gets a little worse and a little worse. And it looks like it has something boring into it now. There's no telling what it is, but I don't know. Definitely has several more dead limbs than it did last year. So every year I kind of wonder, is this going to be the last? And we probably need to just be proactive and go ahead and take the tree down, but just can't bring myself to do it. more than I thought it was going to but at least now I have a better idea of how many more bags I need and how many I can fit in my car so I'm not going to go back today but the next trip to Menards I should be able to pick up 15 bags and get about another third of the way across here so now I'm going to finish picking these up and be sure to grab that strawberry plant that I randomly found growing in here I'm going to guess that was the responsibility of a bird and I'm going to go stick it in my strawberry bed looks a little different from the rest of my strawberries, so I wonder if this isn't a wild strawberry. It's definitely a strawberry plant of some sort. We'll see what happens. Sunday the way that they're supposed to. My sweet little snoozy babies. Mama's gotta go get Logan now. Bye-bye, kitties. All right, Logan's home, and he brought a socket set with him, so I was able to change the mower blade. I'm actually very shocked that I was able to change it by myself because it is 10 years old and it was getting rusty, and I thought for sure there was no way I'd be able to get it to break loose, but it did, so I got it changed. And now I can actually mow my yard, or at least as much of it as possible while we're st still in daylight. But honestly, it only takes like 20 minutes, so I can probably get it all done. That's one job done. Now tomorrow, I'm gonna have to come back and do the trimming, but it looks much better. Miss Emily didn't think much of the mower. Say, let me outside. Please, Mama. Mama says no, cause it's getting dark and it's too late for babies.
Good morning. Spring cleaning week has begun and I'm starting with washing all of my curtains. So I'm working on taking those down, starting with my bedroom. And then uh, from there, I'm going to clean my windows. And I do have a whole list of all of the things that I need to do. I know I have like um, rotating and vacuuming mattresses on there, but I really, I'm gonna have to look to see because I don't even remember, but um, this is where we're starting and that's what we're up to. So I'm gonna do as much as I can before I have to clock in to work and then I'll be back at lunchtime. I probably will go get the trimming done outside also on my lunch break and then whatever else I can fit in, so.
I threw together my burrito bowls earlier today, but that is actually going to be on Sunday's regularly scheduled vlog. I just decided that I had enough to cook this week, plus all the spring cleaning, and it would have been way too much for one vlog. So I am splitting them up. And so you will see me making this on Sunday's regularly scheduled vlog. And also I will be making bread. I will be making banana bread. So I'm going to kind of turn that into a what I cook in a week as a plant-based nutritionist um, because I have bananas needing used up. I'm out of bread. I need more bread. I need to make almond milk. I'm probably going to make some more hummus. So there's just a lot of things that I'm planning on cooking throughout this week. So easily split it into two vlogs, but I'm going to pop this in the microwave and heat it up. Then I have some lime juice and cilantro and avocado to squeeze in on top of it or sprinkle on top of it. And I'm going to eat this for dinner. Um, and then I will be back in here to work on I've got to throw together the bread dough and soak some almonds, um, but you will not see me again until tomorrow, which will be day two of spring cleaning. So today I wash the windows and the curtains. Tomorrow I will probably work on the kitchen. I'm going to steam clean the grout on my floors and then on my backsplash as well, and then disinfect the dishwasher and probably also the washing machine, but I'm not going to go down there and show you that because I don't have a pretty finished laundry room. It's just a basement dungeon so um but we'll be working on the kitchen tomorrow so and this is what it's like to live in missouri haven't gone to the basement yet haven't woken Logan up yet because it's only 4.15. But I'm definitely watching because ever since Grandma and Grandpa's house, we don't just ignore it. But where we are, it is so, so hilly that the odds of a tornado ever actually hitting here are extremely slim. They always like to follow the low-lying areas, so we'll see. Well, the worst of it's passed, but we're still here. <laughs> the plastic didn't even blow away. Freshly clean windows are now going to be covered in water spots. <laughs> uh, I always have the greatest timing with everything. We survived the storm. Everything's good. Um, didn't even blow my plastic or anything away. So um, there was no actual tornado. There was rotation and it was just like a hair north of us. So nothing to worry about as usual, but my timer is going off now. I'm pulling bread out of the oven, which is going to be in Sunday's vlog. And then I'm going to run up to my polling place because it is municipal election day here. And I need to go make sure I vote no on yet another tax increase. So and then I'll be back and I may have a little time to start working on the kitchen before I have to clock into work, but more than likely it's gonna be lunchtime. We'll start steaming some grout. I got everything cleared from all of the countertops so that I have access to my tile. So I just need to clean it. I'm going to, honestly, I don't think I need to steam the grout on the backsplash because it is still very white, maybe like right behind the sink and potentially behind the stove, but that would be about it for having to steam it. But I do have my grout sealer in the basement, so I will probably go ahead and throw a coat of sealer on it because it hasn't been done since we installed it, which I think was two years ago. I don't remember for sure if we put this grout or this, this tile in, in 2001 or 2001, good gravy, 2021 or 2022, um, but it definitely is due for another round of sealer. So I'll do that. The floor, I will most definitely be steam cleaning that grout, um, but I will have to clock into work here in just a few minutes. So that's gonna happen on my lunch break, and then I'll be back and film all of that. I will pull the uh, stove out so that I can get to the grout behind it. And then also while I'm at it, I'm gonna have to like sweep and kind of clean the floor in behind it. So, and the other thing that I wanna get done is clean out the refrigerator. The refrigerator is pretty new. We just got it in, January? No, December, because we did have it at Christmas time. So I think it was December when my old fridge went out and I got a new one. But um, it's definitely time to go ahead and get it cleaned out. I know some tea got splashed in there I saw over the weekend and um, the marmalade got dumped on its side and the lid was not on all the way. So some of that dripped over the weekend. So it's definitely ready for a good clean too. So that's what I'm going to work on today. I'm gonna get this kitchen all 
clean and shiny. And then one thing I'm not gonna do, which is normally on my list, and I think I even mentioned it towards the beginning of this somewhere, but vacuuming the furniture and then like vacuuming and rotating the mattresses because my grandpa's house is under contract. It sells, I think his closing date is May 6th, and then we're gonna have to move him, move all the furniture. And so the furniture that's currently in his living room is coming here. The furniture that's here is going in storage in Michael's shed until Hunter moves out, and then he's gonna get that furniture. And the mattresses also, the most comfortable mattress, mattress I've ever slept in in my life was one that grandma had that she decided was too soft for her and moved it to the guest room. And so I'm taking that mattress now. And so we're gonna put that in my room. My mattress is going on Logan's bed and then Logan's mattress is gonna to go to the farm to be used in the loft. So since we're gonna be moving all the mattresses around anyway in a few weeks, I'm not gonna do that chore now. I'm gonna wait until then. And so when we move all the furniture, at that point I'll vacuum this off Then we're gonna wrap it in plastic and store it. And then I'll vacuum underneath the couch and like in behind and all of that at that point. So there's no point in doing that now to turn around and do it again in a few weeks, but um, so, and I'm also gonna disinfect the dishwasher today too. I forgot about that. I went ahead and ran it even though it's not quite full so that I can unload it and then disinfect it. Um, and then I, I'm gonna quit talking now, but I will be back later to share with you what I'm gonna work on tomorrow because I honestly don't remember without looking anyway. that dries up a little bit I'm gonna go ahead and unload the dishwasher and then work on disinfecting that so all I'm gonna do is put either like a mug or a measuring cup in there put about a cup's worth of vinegar in it and just run it on a normal cycle and that's all there is to it now before I start this up I'm also going to pull the filter and check it and see if it needs cleaned out now I do this probably like I don't know every month or two anyway so it's probably okay I don't think it's been that long since I did the last time but I'm still gonna go ahead and check it So that's what it looks like after just like a month or two maybe of being in here. So for anyone who didn't know that dishwashers have filters that need cleaned out, here you go. I didn't know it myself until I saw her name is Babs on TikTok and she does all kinds of this stuff. Learned it from her. Steaming is all done, so I'm just waiting on the floor to dry, and then I can slide everything back into place, put all the stuff from here back onto my counters, and I'll be done with the kitchen. So um, I do still need to clean out the refrigerator, but I'm running out of time now. So 
that and then also applying the sealer to the grout we'll wait for after work we are doing our usual like tuesday wine tasting but it's not until six and i'm off work at 4 30 so i should have time to get possibly both done but if not i'll at least get one of the two things done um, i'm not going to empty the steamer because tomorrow i am going to use it on the bathroom floor today i just wanted to focus on the kitchen but tomorrow i'm going to wipe all the baseboards and i only have one ceiling fan well two because there's one in logan's room too so two ceiling fans left in the house that i need to dust the blades on those and then i'm going to clean the bathroom floor so that is the plan for tomorrow So the tile is all done and I still need to clean out the refrigerator, but I decided I'm not doing it today. <laughs> I think I have done enough and we're also not going to go do our usual Tuesday wine tasting. Both of us are just tired from being woke up at four o'clock this morning with stupid tornado warning. So um, the refrigerator, I'll be up at like 6 a.m. again tomorrow, which is my normal time. Um, and so I may just tackle that early tomorrow morning, but not going to do it tonight. I'm going to heat up some food and just veg for the evening, I think. So I will catch up with you in the morning. All right, steaming the grout is officially done. So it is time to move on to cleaning the baseboards and the ceiling fans. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and start in the bathroom since I'm already in here. I'm gonna wipe down the baseboards in here and then move out to the hallway and kind of work my way into the main living area. I'm not gonna worry too much about the bedrooms. Um, I'll get what I can, but I'm not pulling all the furniture out to get to it. Um, that's just more than I'm willing to do right now. So I've got enough going on in life. So um, anyway, gonna get started on that the refrigerator I ended up having to make banana bread this morning and film that for the other vlog that's coming out on Sunday so the refrigerator might be waiting until next week at this point but gonna go ahead and get started on those baseboards
All right, so spring cleaning is done, except for one thing. The last thing I need to do is polish the furniture, but the vlog's already gotten pretty long, so I don't think I'm gonna film that. I'm just gonna do it, and it's gonna be tomorrow. But I am ready to be done with this. I am tired, you guys. So yesterday morning being up at four because of the stupid tornado sirens, and then this morning I was awake at 4.15 just because um, I just, things are stressful right now, and Anytime that happens, I am prone to early waking. I've had insomnia issues my entire life. I get it under control for a long time, but all it takes is one stressful moment for me to start waking up at 4 a.m. every day like clockwork, no matter what time I go to bed, and I am just tired. And it stinks because being really tired at the same time as you're really busy and you just don't have the energy to get stuff done, but you have to do it anyway, like, I, I'm done. So, um the spring cleaning stops here, but I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you on Sunday for my usual weekly cooking vlog, except this one, it's not a vlog. It's really just a, um, what I cooked this week as a plant-based nutritionist is what it's going to be. Cause I had to do a lot of cooking this week. So, um, if you want to see that, come back on Sunday. Thanks for watching.